Here by the moor where you returned, And saw the burrow lights ahead that lit your face, All undiscerned to be in a week the face of the dead. And you told of the charm of that haloed view, That never again would beam on you. And on your left you passed the spot where eight days later you were to lie, and be spoken of as one who was not, beholding it with a heedless eye as alien from you, though under its tree you soon would halt everlastingly. I drove not with you, yet had I said at your side that eve, I should not have seen that the countenance I was glancing at had a last time look in the flickering sheen. Nor have read the writing upon your face, I go hence soon to my resting place. You may miss me then, but I shall not know how many times you visit me there, or what your thoughts are, or if you go there never at all. And I shall not care. Should you censure me, I shall take no heed, and even your praises no more shall need. True. Never you'll know. And you will not mind, but shall I then slight you because of such? Dear ghost, in the past did you ever find the thought what profit moved me much? Yet abides the fact, indeed, the same. You are past love, praise, indifference, blame. There was a frost last night, she said and the stove was forgot when we went to bed, and the greenhouse plants are frozen dead. By the breakfast blaze, blank face spoke she, her scared young look seeming to be the very symbol of tragedy. The frost is fiercer than then to-day, as I pass the place of her once dismay, but the greenhouse stands warm, tight, and gay, while she who grieved at the sad lot of her pretty plants, cold, Iced, forgot, herself is colder, and knows it not. Oh, the opal and the sapphire of that wandering western sea, And the woman riding high above with bright hair flapping free, The woman whom I love so, and who loyally loved me. The pale muse plained below us, and the waves seemed far away in another sky, engrossed in saying their ceaseless babbling say, as we laughed light-heartedly aloft on that clear sun the March day. A little cloud then cloaked us, and there flew an irised rain, and the Atlantic dyed its levels with a dull, misfeatured stain, and then the sun burst out again, and purples prinked the main. Still in all its chasmal beauty bulks old Beanie to the sky. And shall she and I not go there once again, now March is nigh? And the sweet thing said in that march, say anew there by and by. What if still in chasmal beauty looms that wild, weird western shore? The woman now is elsewhere, whom the ambling pony bore. And nor knows, nor cares for Beanie. And we'll laugh there, never more. 